Yo, what's up YouTube? How's it going everybody? So, we are finally here with an unranked challenger account. A lot of you guys have been asking me for. This is our second game, I believe. I think we're either in bronze or iron or some yellow like that. <laughs> we're, uh, we're playing a lot of blue cane because last whisper just got buffed. I'm also going to be uploading a video showcasing um, a build that I created with Ross. It's um, full lethality, full like, um, or not full lethality, but full shred. So like Black Cleaver, Dust Blade, Last Whisper. It's been done before, but I kind of want to reinvent it because it seems really strong for right now. If you want to like solo carry games. So not only is Ross good with that build, but Blue Cane is obviously the one that excels with it because he's actually the assassin that builds these items. So. Um, I'm going back to running my classic runes. Uh, I just want to get as much lethality as I can. Doing a YouTuber. Stop DMing me. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I have a Camille support? Yeah, I played with Wars personally. Yeah, with this new path thing, you don't need a leash either. You just, I mean, it's not really new, it's just doing your old path thing. It's like old old school if you're like a season 7, 8 cane man. It's an old school path in boys. Actually, I think season 8 was mostly red Krugs. So, season 7 path thing. Alright, so. Normally, like I said, when you want to go blue, you want to make sure that... Your 60% of your orbs is blue, so I just try and camp bot. So we're gonna see if they get shoved in. I think Camille's gonna be really easy to gank for. A Vayne, Velkaz is pretty prone to getting uh, ganked all again. Vayne's actually a pretty good pick in a uh, cane. Or Ross, but not in a blue cane, because with blue cane, you can just one shot him. I think I could take this 1v1 here. I gotta help here as well. I'll wait for him to queue. Yeah, there you go. Alright, that's good. We got his flash. Exactly what I wanted. I got a little bit of orbs too. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, so this is normally the path thing you want to do when you're ganking a lane like this. Just ping them like 20 times you're going in. And then once you got the chance to go in, you just go in. Okay, I got the Dark Harvest. Then try and get her flash. His, wow, they didn't flash with 6 HP. That Belkaz has balls of steel, man. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, I got a Dark Harvest stack and got Vayne's Flash. I got a lot of pressure, too. Sometimes people don't realize it, but not getting a kill is still, like, if you apply that much pressure for a lane, it's still a good gank, especially against, like, a weak champ like Vayne. For her to get pushed in the tower, and I'm presuming that she base, so she'll miss a lot of CS. It's very ideal. So when you do this path thing, where you do a uh, Raptor's Red uh, opposite side scuttle, what you normally would want to do is you want to path until you can get the second spawn of the raptors. Which is usually at about 4 minutes if you start raptors. So, let's take this into consideration. So, I got about 20 seconds. Uh, my favorite base right now is just to get two long swords For Rost and Blucan, I just like to do that. It's pretty pretty uh, handy, I think. I'm doing Dark Harvest and Lower Elo just because I'd imagine I'm going to get a bunch of stacks stacked up. Last game I played, I had like 25 kills. Sadly, I uh, was listening to copyrighted music, so I couldn't upload that one. I mean, it wasn't anything too special, it was just me getting a bunch of kills. I'm pr pretty sure I'm going to be doing that a lot. <laughs> you know, I'm not playing my main elo, it should be easy. Unless I'm actually a bronze player in disguise. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see. So, like I said, just path to get those raptors. Then we could probably do Krugs and maybe look for a top gank. I always want to be looking to farm optimally and path towards the scuttle. So after you get the raptor, you want to look towards where the scuttle is and be around that area. So, I might go for a mid gank here. I'll save my Q just in case. Yeah, it looks like he's going to back off actually. So, him backing off means... Wait, oh, wow, he just came back as soon as I leave. Maybe the raptor camp was warded. That'd make a lot of sense. Because, you know, otherwise it's just a really lucky coincidence. Very, very lucky. Alrighty. Wolf. Oh no. Alright. Let's ask if he has flash or not. Okay, 
As long as I was moving a lot to dodge his Qs, I win that. I'm good, I'm good. Normally I have my, all the pings muted. I don't like getting pinged, it always distracts me. <laughs> Ass has flash, he answered 30 seconds later, no. <laughs> What's he, no even mean, yes? Like, he doesn't have flash, or? Yeah, it means he doesn't, right? I think. All right, this is patience right here. Wait for the jacks. Do, 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 do. Don't want the minion wave to get too big, so we're just gonna go in right now. Okay, make sure we have to get behind them in order to dodge that. So another pressure gank, all good. I, I don't know if I hit him with my W there. I don't think, I think I did, because it seemed like he was slowed, but just didn't look like it on my screen. I'm pretty sure I hit him with my W. I don't know. That was weird. Uh, alright. Bot, if boss stays in that position, they're very free gank. Ganking from like a big wall like this, or from this area, is always free. There's always so much opportunity to do ganks. Like I, ver I rarely see like a lot of Kane players utilizing the walls to get good ganks. Like people always say they have like a hard time ganking with Kane. Well, you you're not utilizing his kit properly. Like you need to take into consideration that you can like eat through so many different areas or get to so many different positions behind them. Alright, you could smite in Euro, by the way. Alright. Nice. I'll be honest, I almost smited one of them. They were, they were tanking the heck out of that. Man, I don't want to get red. I want to go my new build. My new blue cane. Or no, it's not even a new blue cane build. I just want to go blue cane. I'll, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm probably still going to go blue cane regardless. I think blue cane in this elo is so funny, especially with Last Whisper. I don't know why more people don't play blue cane lower elos. They only play Ross. I actually find blue cane to be. I, I guess it's maybe it's because I know how to close out games better, and blue cane doesn't really scale as, as well as Ross. Like if you're in like a 30 minute game with Ross, Jesus, the game's over for the enemy team. But with blue cane, <laughs> if it gets to 30 minutes, good luck being useful. All right, so we're just gonna get our red form because obviously if your bar is taken up more than like 55% of um, red orbs, that's the form you're gonna get. And then you just have to wait out for the timer. So I'm just gonna get eight, like my red form here, and then I'll wait for my blue. I uh, should be able to just do something easy. I uh, didn't have the force. Just wanted my form. All right. Not bad. Uh, I probably wait like 10 seconds. Let's see. How greedy are they? Oh yeah, let's execute forward. R, R, R. There you go. Go, 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 go. Ah, that's fine. We got their flashes. So when I'm four, I'm going to come back and murder them both. Sounds a bit dark, but trust me, it'll be fun. Looks like Lee Sin's coming for the scuttle. I may be losing it. I don't know. Oh lordy. <laughs> Thank you for the kill, sir. I had four kills off the same two people. It's funny. Alright, yeah, they didn't take this. So, I'm just farming a bunch. How many Dark Harvest techs do I have? Seven. That's pretty good. I think the most I ever had was like 28 at like 22 minutes. Something crazy like that. I wonder if I could beat that. I mean, usually if that happens, the game just ends. Some people FF, some people don't. It's pretty much like 
what matters. I don't know if I want to base until I get uh, my f my form. Wait two minutes. Minute 40, boys. I wonder if I can gank top right now. We're not that strong, but if we play off our uh, top laner's damage, like if I gank for somebody who's ahead, and as long as I just apply like a utility like it's slow or something, then usually it works out. Like a bit of damage and a slow is usually all the winning lane needs to get a successful kill. Alright, I don't think I have any more camps to farm. I can get rift, but then that would end the game quicker and I'm trying to get a lot of kills. I'll be honest, I'm, I'm surprised that people don't get rift more often. Here, yeah, I'll just like be around top for a little bit, see what's going on. This guy steps up, pretty sure I just kill him. I have 40 seconds to kill. Let's see if patience buys us anything. Wow, mid actually got a solo kill. Oh, well, that's the Aspo syndrome. I think this is warded. Because otherwise he'd be stepping up, right? I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was warded. Because look, as soon as I backed off, he started stepping up. Oh, well, I get the Gromp. That's pretty good. See, I don't get the Darius, but I do get the Gromp. So you always have to take things like that into consideration. By the way, my blue cane will not be doing as much damage to their team because they're all getting like ninja tabbies and stuff early on. But once I get last whisper and whatnot, uh, trust me, it'll be pretty big. Alrighty. Finally, what we've all been waiting for. The form. Alright, and bot lane shouldn't have any soms, so I'll go kill them. I'm just gonna kill them both, get bot tower, and then just get a bunch of gold, get displayed, solo anybody. It'll be pretty neat to watch, I think. Knowing your power spikes is huge, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I gotta stop walking forward. Ah, stop your down. Easy peasy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest, I've been playing a lot of my challenger accounts, so I'm kinda used to people like predicting their pathing path so when I'm playing on a smurf I forget that you just throw your skill shot at the direction that they're in like you just throw it straight at them like you don't need to predict their movement I don't know if you guys smurf but if you smurf and then go on uh, your main account like things are just like so much more different kind of like what players do and everything like mindset it's pretty easy to read like you know when you're smurfing uh, you kind of just want to like travel the map and get as many kills you don't want to spend too much time farming you want to stay ahead in CS, of course, but you want to, like, understand that the enemy team doesn't respect ganks or vision control as much. Alright, so. Normally, I would get Sork Boots against a comp like this, because they're rushing so much um, Ninja Tabby and stuff like that, but um, I think I'm going to get Mobies just because it will help me snowball, because I'll be able to be in more places on the map. Like, I'll just be around more. So that's the thing that a lot of people don't take into consideration. They're like, oh, you say Sorks is good, but you go Moby's more. It's because it's very situational. Like, a lot of the things I do is just situational. It's like, if I'm this ahead, I want to be everywhere on the map. I don't want, like, extra damage. Because I already have the damage to kill everybody. But I don't have the speed to be there, you know. Yeah. Camille seems pretty good in a comp like this when we're ahead. But if we're behind, I'd imagine it'd just be very useless. Um, uh, let's kill Darius. My favorite tactic to abuse when you're playing in lower elos, so like win every game, is to find like the players performing the best and just like intentionally camp them. Like kill them over and over, because it'll tilt them and then they won't want to play anymore. What the heck is that minion block? I kept getting path blocked by something. A ghost. The ghost of my top laner. A very good control ward to put when you're ahead and you're in the enemy jung is right here. So I just used my blue orb to make sure he wasn't waiting in the bush. Like I, I don't think he could have soloed me, but I didn't want him to be there. You know, he could have been there with Yasuo. I mean, I saw Yasuo going bot side, I guess. I don't know. Still, he could have been there. Nice bot. All right, 
Well, good to invade his uh, camps. And yeah, she just goes like all in on him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just kill him. Actually, I don't even think I need her to kill him. Ah, that's weird. Hmm, can I kill them? I wish I had R. If I had R, for sure. But right now, I don't know. Oof. Got her flash. Good stuff. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Ow, that's just threw a boomerang at me. What a jerk. Um, yeah, because they're getting a lot of defensive stats, I'll just get a Last Whisper early on. They they buffed the heck out of Last Whisper, man. It's crazy. Yo, Weewolf, thanks so much for that Twitch Prime. Appreciate oh, yeah. that so much. Only the best King Club. By the way, guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, I do stream on Twitch. I try to mention this in every video. I stream on Twitch almost every day, playing can. If you ever have any in-depth questions you need answering, I usually try my hardest to answer. And I'm finally doing the Unwrecked Challenger. I don't have to use delay. Oh, wow, another nice sub. Yo, thanks so much for that sub. Uh, Seeds the same feed. Appreciate it. The best game club. Oh, I think he's the best game in the at least. It's a lot of damage right there, boy. Okay, uh, I just want to make sure I can get out. Yeah, with Dark Harvest, I think it's pretty good, especially in lower elos, because you can get so many stacks. If you understand your damage, you can just go in and make plays like that, by the way. I, hitting your W on Van is really hard. I wouldn't really recommend playing Kane into a Van, because it's really easy for them to dodge abilities. I think like the worst champs for Kane right now is like who was it? It's Van and someone else. Uh who was it? I can't remember. I played against them earlier today. Some annoying champ that was similar to Van. Okay, so I'm gonna get Lord Dominix. They don't really have too much self healing, so Lord Dominix is pretty good here. Oh yeah, Fiora. Thank you, Fiora. Yeah, that's who it was. Twitch chat reminded me. How sweet. Normally, as you guys notice, I did get Edge of Night second, like after Dustblade most of the time. But I don't, like, they don't really have too much to stop me on my initiation. And because of the way that they're building, I wanted the, the armor pen more than the Lethality. Okay. Because you'll, you'll notice the huge difference in damage now. I do a lot more. I saved you. Yes. I saved him. I like a mini hiccup during while saying that. That was funny. Ouchie. Oh, that guy's not even getting close to me. He knows that if I just hit smite him in arm, he's dead. Okay, damage is really satisfying if you ever had. Nice. Alright. Oh! Uh, not bad damage. He has Phantom Dancer. If I were to combo him, he'd be dead. Just one W, that's pretty nice damage. So, I'd probably get... Um, what do I want to go? I don't like to get defensive like GA or anything like that. So, I'll probably get double lethality here. Or triple. Because, you know, Dust Blade, Edge Knight, and then... Um, wait, no, I don't want to get this. That means the game will end soon. I'm trying to get as many kills as I can. Alright, I'll be honest. I'm trying to get a lot of Dark Harvest stacks. I have like a personal record that I want to be. I'm nowhere near it. I'm nowhere near it. A very important thing for Kane is blue buffs. Remember that. I love blue buffs. Red or blue Kane. Or raw, sorry. Oh my god, I'm going to get so much flack for that. <laughs> I'm so used to saying red Kane because that's why everyone calls him. His name is Rost. He's his own Kane. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, I'll probably get Edge right now. Why am I getting vision control? It's... It's unranked to challenger. This is like my third game. But it actually shows you a rank. I, I'm pretty sure this is iron or bronze, so 
you know, this isn't really anything too special. This is just me getting a bunch of kills. Have you ever wondered how it was playing in low elo, boys? As a challenger player, that's pretty much it. For Ken. I I'll have a Ross video coming out too. I'm gonna be uploading videos every day for the Sunrake Challenger, and if you guys want to see all the games, like I said, check out my stream. Oh, that Jack's going in 1v5. Well, if you juke me out. If I one shot him, I probably could have got two more with me. Actually, I might have been able to kill them all. I don't know. I had to hit a really good combo, though. That's the thing. If they don't bunch up, then I'm doomed. That's the thing. You always got to try to get them to come into one spot together. Yeah. Well, I'm actually really liking Dark Harvest with your alt interaction. Because if they ever have, like, Dark Harvest proc, I might actually start running Dark Harvest more. I haven't tried this in a while. I mean, of course, this is, like, a lower elo game, so it's not going to be super consistent. But I kind of want to try on my Challenger account. I tried it one time, and it actually went, went pretty okay. But I feel like it's kind of, like, risky, right? Huh. <laughs> Thanks for tanking that for me. Uh... All right, well, I have my Edge of Night, so I'm gonna go for that. I don't know if you guys noticed, but they uh, when they buffed Kane, they they gave Shadow Assassin more range to exit on your R, so I love using that. It actually helps you so much with going in and having a good spot to go out, because you can get out of Auto's uh, reach from a lot of people. It's actually, like, I, I love that. That's my favorite thing that they buffed. Like, so many people didn't even realize that. Like, they thought that the changes were just, like, quality of life and, like, like small little changes like bug fixes like no the r exiting on your r is huge that stuff is amazing it's what i live for huh. okay i just one shot him with the smite auto queue nice I, i've been missing a lot of w's this game it's because i'm telling you i've been playing a lot if you guys have checked my uh a challenger account it's uh well not challenger yet because you know challenger isn't open if you've been checking my high yellow account it's uh oh we all uh damn that's my first assist it's like 820 810 lp right now i think it's ranked number 12 and uh it's it's just so different to go from that account to play on this account you know because it's like, I'm used to people dodging a certain way. Yo, Mayhem, thanks so much though, so I appreciate it. Like, watch this, you just stand. I am gay. Just move still. Oh, thanks for telling me that, Mayhem. Um, oh, the FF. Alright, boys. Either way, if you enjoyed the blue cane vid, be sure to drop a like and a sub. Peace out, guys.